What's going on guys? Sharp to Prop back with another video. And I wanna, wait a minute. It's a little too dark in here, hold on. There we go. Looking better now. All right, man. Uh, just wanted to make a quick video. Um, Want to give you guys three words that you can probably take in your daily life that I use in my life. So um, I want you to uh, apply these in your life. If 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 not, you probably already applied them. Uh, but there are three keywords that I use in my life that uh, help me get through the day every day. Um, so the three words are uh, detachment. Um, what's the other one? Uh, adapt, adaptation and adjustment. Detachment, adaption, and adjustment, right? So detachment is, detachment, uh, yeah. My skin is actually looking better, but yeah, attachment, I mean, detachment, my bad, detachment is just um, not being tied to things, uh, relationships, people, not just being tied to being like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like you are uh, uh, entitled to things because uh, things come and go, just like your life, it comes and goes. So the uh, reason I use detachment in my life is because that, you know, uh, if something doesn't go like my way, then it's like, oh, okay. Or if it's like, um, a car, like, let's just say, uh, uh, I'm, I don't wanna put that, I don't wanna use that scenario, but um, let's just say that uh, if just the little, the little things like, let's just say, oh, uh, I'm gonna, uh, Let's say I'm going to work out today and uh, I really wanted to do legs, but like all the squat racks are used up. It's okay. Like I can do something else. Um, not making a big deal of things. That's what, that's what really the detachment is all about. If it's like things go your way, it's okay. If things go your way, it's going to be okay. If things don't go your way, it's going to be okay. So detachment is a key word that I use in my life. Um, I hope you can apply it to your life as well. Uh, number two is adaption. Adaption, I, I've i been using this for forever, since I was a kid and I didn't even know it. Being able to adapt, being able to adapt to any environment that you're in. Now, um, this, this, this is so crucial. It really is. Um, now, growing up, uh, I've had a dairy, I've had a dairy diverse group of friends so i've been taught to adapt early whether it's you know things i may do with my uh my black friends i may not do with some of my white friends or things i may not do with like some of my mexican friends uh you know i've always had a very diverse group of friends just be not because off of uh uh, what you call it? Not because like, oh, I just want to have a white friend today, but it's it's all due to you know having interest in chemistry and uh, just you know just playing playing basketball. It, it's just interest, man. It's just you know being cool with people. That's it, man. That's just it. That's just it. It's just being cool with people, um, and you know, and some of my you know some of my friends' families, their uh, their beliefs are different. So it's being able to adapt and learning their their uh their culture as well as um your culture. And it can't even it don't even have to be that. It could just be certain things like um uh, going to an environment like let's say an environment that you're not used to, let's say a social gathering, let's um or going to uh like going to a club, going to a family reunion that you that you're probably gonna see people you've never seen before. And you got to be able to adapt to an environment and talk as if you're confident, as if you've been there before. So uh, being able to adapt to environments is key, um, as well as uh, um, acting like you've been there. 
acting like you've been there before. Like, even if you haven't been there, uh, like, stand, stand tall, stand tall, keep your head high, and talk. And just talk like you've been there before. And, you know, and you tell and you tell somebody that I've never been here before. And they're going to look at you like, what? I'm... <laughs> You look like you like you you you've been doing this forever. You're like, nah, I've I've been doing this. I've been doing this at all. I just, you know, just just was here. What was that? Oh, whatever. But yeah, I I was just you know I was just um just trying to act like it. It's like, oh, I never I never would believe I never would have guessed it. So being able to adapt is totally key. Adjusting is very oh my adjusting is pretty is very key as well. Um. I've gotten very good over adjusting over the course of two years due to that I got into an accident. Um, adjusting, like, my whole, after, like, I lost four of my fingers, my whole, like, I had to readjust my whole life in a snap. Like, it was crazy because I'm left-hand dominant. You know, I got an accident. It happened to my left hand. And so I had to do everything over, like, as if, you know, I was just born, like, right and right-handed. I mean, I was right. And see, the thing about it was, was like, I was right and right-handed a little bit as a kid just to see what it felt like. But I didn't know that I would, it would prep me for this moment. So having to adjust, like, on the fly, doing stuff right-handed, uh, you know how it is, like, when you're using your non-dominant hand, it feels like you're, like, it feels like you're trying to teach a a baby how to do math or something like it's crazy and it's and you gotta uh you gotta do it over and over um you gotta you gotta just learn how to adjust man you gotta learn how to adjust and it was tough for me but it's it's not it's it's possible it is definitely not impossible at all it's it's so possible it just takes time it just takes time and some patience if you got those two if you if you if you if you got the patience if you got the patience patience if you got the patience the curiosity and the will then you will learn you will be able to adjust to any situation that you're in so um those are my also with uh adjustment right so it's okay to make a mistake like we all make mistakes i don't really call them mistakes i just call them adjustments like when I went to, you know, if you're a big math guy, like I went to school, what is that? Oh, never mind. I went to school for uh, engineering, and you know, the the biggest subject in engineering is math. So there is no like, in order to get like, okay, there's one problem, but there's there may be like ten different ways to solve that problem to get the right answer, and there is no, you know, there's. There's you you're gonna get a wrong answer, but there's different ways to get a right answer. So it's not that you you're doing something wrong. It's just maybe you have to adjust something to your life that maybe uh isn't uh isn't working right now. So you just gotta learn how to adjust because you know life is life is no all right all right. This is what I meant to say. This is what I really meant to say. Not every single day. No two days are the same. There is not going to be a day that is no that is going to be the same as the other, bro. So take those three words, use it, and uh, that's it, man. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, use, share, uh, share the video, hit the notification bell. Peace.